Sega. Oh, I, I see what you did there. You did a switch up. It's clever. <laughs> so clever. <laughs> All right, welcome, folks. This is Deep Thought. I'm the Crazy Even, and today we are going through the final game in the highly touted Donkey Kong Country trilogy, Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. And here with me today are, once again, uh, Mia and Stefan, and we also have the floofiest floof that has ever flooped the floof floof, uh, THP. Hello. Hello. All right. I like Kitty Kong Country. <laughs> so, yeah, Donkey Kong Country 3, there are many ways this game can be described, but I think the best way to do so is... Are you... Oh my god. <laughs> you fucking legend. I thought you were going to spell Donnie. No, I called it Dongo. Eh, should have just been Dong. Nah. Dongo's funnier. <laughs> so yeah, this this is a weird game. A, a really, really weird game. It's certainly jarring. Yeah, like, the transition from 2 to 3. Like, 2 was kind of different from the first one, but... It still had the same kind of feeling. Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, and and th three, however, it's well. I mean, to be to be fair, it, it still is a Donkey Kong Country game. It's still nothing major has changed in this game, but there's just there are a lot of elements in here that kind of seem out of place in a Donkey Kong Country game. Minor collection elements, minor RPG elements, nothing major like. It's the Sonic Rush Adventure. Of Donkey Kong Country. That's a good way of putting it, actually. It's kind of like that. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's 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 a, it's a weird game. I I just gotta keep calling it that. But not, not to say it's bad. Personally, I... While I do think it's my least favorite game in the trilogy, it's still a very, very good platformer. I still think it's alright. I was joking about it last time, uh, just to piss off even. Like, I don't hate this game, I just think it's personally my weakest entry in the series. Yeah. It's just a weird- oh, the, here's- here's one of the first examples of this being such a weird game. These things called banana birds, um... You have to collect them all. Yep, collect them all. There are 15 of them, and most of them involve what we just saw there. It's like a Simon Says- style sequence in which you... It's not called Simon Says, it's literally just called Simon. Okay, Simon. Are they birds made out of bananas? Or are they flying bananas? Yes, they are. <laughs> also, also, so Donkey Kong got kidnapped again? And Diddy Kong. Although I think it's more they've gone missing as opposed to have been kidnapped. Although <laughs> it, it turns out they've been kidnapped, but uh, I don't know. Spoilers. But how, how did they get kidnapped? Uh, do you want me to spoil the story of this amazing... Wh which mu which multiple personality of uh, rule st stole them this time? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, K. Rule? Yeah, no, I'm saying you're savage. Anyway, um, so... In addition to that, the bonus rooms, well, they they haven't really changed from Donkey Kong Country 2, um, but they added a new one instead, which, oh, I, I hope it's this one right here. Yep, Grab this, oh my bananas. god. Green Something banana. Where I used to. Yeah, so imagine the star collecting bonus room, uh, but like 10 times more annoying. That's this bonus room. Although they do have the star collecting one in this, as we just saw. Well, yeah, they do. I, I, I was just saying, like, I hate the star thing, and I hate this thing, too. Green green bananas taste better than yellow bananas, anyway. No, I think green bananas are, like, unripe bananas. Also, I like elephants. Fampy. <laughs> this is El This is uh, Rambi's replacement, uh, Ellie the elephant. And, well, she's not as good as- not as powerful as Rambi, but she has her uses, to be fair. I'm actually not sure if Ellie the Elephant is male or female. Like, I know Ellie is a female name, but, like, I think if, uh, I think Ellie might just have that name because they're an elephant, but I'm not sure if... Ellie is a female name. I know people named Ellie. Well, so do I, but, like, what I'm saying is I don't know if this Ellie is... Because this Ellie's clearly named Ellie just because, you know, elephant. 
clear answer is that the, the ambiguous elephant to the Donkey Kong wiki. It, it's prob it's probably a girl because yeah. this is Dixie Kong country, so everyone everything must be girl now. Suppose and uh... wow, you guys are so non-binary phobic. I prefer I prefer Kitty I prefer Kitty Kong Country. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Kitty Kong, he's a new addition to the K little Kong family. The, this this series has got going on. And while I was kind of down on him, him at first because he's essentially Donkey Kong 2.0, I've kind of Donkey Kong Junior. He's Donkey Kong Junior. He's Donkey Kong Light. Okay. Well, I I've kind of grown to actually like him a whole lot. He's not as he's like. He's not as fast as Diddy, when that's probably my only biggest gripe with him, but, like, his role is a lot smoother than Donkey Kong's, and he just seemed, like, he seems a lot more fitting for, like, the, the style of gameplay than, like, Dixie Kong is, t to be honest. And, as we just saw, he can jump on water. Like, he literally He's is. Jesus! He's Jesus Kong. Isn't this the game also with, G is this the game with Jesus Barrel? I knew you were going to bring that up. Should I get the lap track? <laughs> <laughs> we did bring that up in the last playthrough, but yeah. Also, this uh, this is a mill. It's a really weird mill. I like how it's designed, though. It's all wooden. It looks there are a lot of cobwebs here. It gives a really old feel. Yeah, it's made of wood. Look cool. yeah. Uh, also, in the background of all this, I can see that Ken Penders and Flame are having an argument on Twitter. Uh, why, why would you assume that they were doing that in the middle of a, of a mill? No, I'm just saying, like, I, I'm just seeing notifications for it. She's not paying attention to the video. Oh, okay. Well, so nothing has changed. <laughs> Good job, Mia. Yeah, but you know what has changed? The way that you get the DK coins in this game, and they're back as well. And personally, I'm not a big a fan of how they changed that, too. Hey, guys, cause... look, it's an N64. Yes, the N64 was out by the time this game came out. DK64 confirmed. You gotta, you gotta find some ways to promote that thing. Can I just say, at least saving in this game is free again? Yes. Oh, thank God. So that's one thing it has. Not that it was a big issue with the second game, because, well, save state. It was. I did not know that was there. Yeah. Well, there are a lot of th hidden things in this game. Um, you gotta be really, really, really sleuthy. Really adventurous. Sleuthy, floofy. Um, so, going back to the DK coins, uh, the, instead of just finding the DK coin, you have to... Defeat this monster that uses the DK coin as a shield, and you have to do that by throwing a metal barrel at it, usually against the wall, so it hits him from behind. I honestly think that's kind of fun. I mean, it's there are a lot of creative ways to defeat the, the, the uh, these b monsters, which are called coins with a K. But um, reminds me of Spyro. Which how? Um, yeah, but wait, with the how they use the gems as weapons. Yeah, but uh, per personally, I just kind of prefer um, how how it's just you just find the coin, like it's they h hide it cleverly. Um, I cleverly in quotations, because eh, there's mean, nothing clever sure about bullshit. Eh, I mean, I mean there are some p parts where they do kind of do some bullshit hiding, but I I, I still kind of just prefer the simple method Unguard. as opposed to this. I just think it's really cool, yeah. like uh, how the DK coin is actually used as a weapon, and it's not like just some collectible. It's just uh, there. Honestly, I think this game has too many collectibles for my taste. I know it like fits to the kind of banjo kazooie loving kind of crowd, but I'm not one of those, so I just like going to the end of the levels. I mean, fair enough, but. But I don't think it has too many collectibles, in my opinion. I mean... It's not Donkey Kong 64, but like... Yes, exactly. I mean, they... They, they just added the banana... The banana birds. That That's pretty much the only thing that adds to the overall 100% in order to... That you have to do in, to get this game, to 100% this game. 
Those are some freaky barrels. This game is very uh, sexist because it has blue for Kitty Kong and pink for Dixie. I, 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 fine. You can say it that way if you want to. No, that this game is racist to babies because they give them a binky. Like they assume all kids have binkies. Hey, I have one. <laughs> I don't think he has a binky with him right now, or does he? Stop calling them binkies. They're called dummies. Fucking yanks. They're pacifiers. Oh fuck you, you dumb Irish. Actually, it's called a soother. You yank. That was a quick one. So, Floof, what's your um, opinion on this, or not opinion, but like, experience with this game? <clears throat> do you want the truth or you want the lie? <laughs> I played this game. Yeah, I played it. I saw him playing it last night. Oh, oh, oh my. Way to prepare. It's, it's good, good of you people to prepare for this game. Yeah, personally, um, like I think I said this at some point through with with, with these three games that we've been doing, but um, I think this was the uh, first experience with the Donkey Kong Country series I had. Um, you poor I, soul. I played like, yeah, played with the very beginning of it, and um, that that was pretty much it. Uh, my first, well, I think I mentioned my first experience being the first game, so I didn't actually play this until quite a bit later. Yeah, um, I, I think I do remember, like, it was my sophomore year in high school when I, f like, fully got into this game. But, um, it was, I think I had only gotten to, like, after you beat, um, the, the evil, 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 evil end boss for the first time. Like, oh. I, I had no idea how expansive this game was going to be. Yeah, there's so much shit in there that you're not gonna see if you don't collect a lot of stuff, unfortunately, which... It's kind of a dick move for people who are like me and don't like collecting shit because they like to actually get on with the game. Eh, I mean, t to each their own. Yeah, I just don't like that kind of collecty style. Yeah, you want you want to talk stereotypes? This is the level in which you play as an elephant. You have to run away from mice. I mean, come on, guys, get your shit together. Not all elephants are afraid of mice. Hashtag not all elephants. Not all Ellies. But but can but can all elephants remember? Not the one in Zootopia. Oh, that was a good movie. You know he 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 just didn't care. She or sure she she just didn't care. You're transphobic now. How does that feel? How is that my transphobic? Because you misgendered her. That's not transphobic, oh, that's great. just being a dumbass. <laughs> good good job, Stefan. And to be fair, it's not like she had a beard or anything, like that Danny DeVito guy. Why why do elephants why do they say elephants never forget? Like what do they have to remember anyway? Uh I mean they're their they're offspring, their mates. I guess they won't owners? forget the fact that we use their ivory for uh, pianos, am I right? Well, I mean, they probably will forget because they'll be dead. Even though she doesn't have any ivory. She doesn't have tusks. Oh, female confirmed. Oh. I like birds. <laughs> birds? <laughs> there ain't no birds in here. There was the banana bird back there. Ooh, banana. Swanky, Swanky Sideshow. Sideshow. Side Wacky. This is also where Cranky appears. Yeah. He doesn't and... give you hints anymore because they realize no one fucking cared. Yeah, this this is a good way to um um get get a lot of bear coins. Like you only get two, to be fair, if you win the games, because you pay two and then you win four, so you you get two in the end. But um the bear coins, you need these bear coins in order to fully 103% this game, because there, there are a lot of bears around here that take objects, the bears. and they cost money. I never know what those objects did. Eh, well, well, we'll be seeing what they do 
as we go on. But Isn't uh, there like chocolate? Chocolate? No, there's no chocolate. Yes. Oh, I think that's the GBA version. Yeah, I, I was gonna say I don't like chocolate anyway. So. What? Yeah, ch I, I don't like chocolate. It, it had it took Donkey Kong Country three to to get that out of me. <laughs> Yeah, these uh, mini games aren't very interesting. It's just there are three variations of it. They're all pr play pretty much the same. You like hit hit the target twenty five times before Cranky does. Swanky, swanky. You hit as many targets as you can before Cranky will stop hitting targets. And then there's like a like some sort of meter thing where you get hit, hit, get the meter all the way up to your face before Cranky gets it to his face. And yeah, not interesting. Also, uh... This boss is pretty cool. Yeah, it's a nice design, but I think I said before that the boss battles get better as the series go on, goes on. And, um, well... They don't. <laughs> <laughs> they, they really don't, unfortunately. There's a, there's a really, really pathetic boss we're going to be seeing in this game later on. as like As well as a couple more. But it does... In the next episode, there will be probably my favorite boss in the entire trilogy. Oh, I know the one you're fucking talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, hate yeah. him. He can suck a dick. Because he's actually challenging. <laughs> yeah, what do you think of the boss battles, THP? Did you, did you, did they give you any trouble? Uh, well, I died to the first one, so you can take a guess. <laughs> How? How did you die? At least you're honest, Luke. I'm curious. Like, I'm shit at aiming. Pushed me to the left, and eventually I fell into the pit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, to, to be fair, it is... It, the hit detection on that thing is pretty difficult. But yeah, this is what I meant by saying that you had to... You had to buy things in this game. This is the main thing place you're going to be going. That mirror there will cost 50 coins, as opposed to the shell, which costs only 5. And yeah... This is another problem with the game, like going, like backtracking back and forth in order to get these items to where they're, they're supposed to go. It, it's it can be kind of annoying. Not too big a fan of it. But now we go back to Lake Oranga Tanga. That's what the lake is called. It's it's a very small lake it's though. The first world. Yeah, it's a very small lake. This isn't a world. This is a lake. But lakes are great. Is, is this guy a Kong? He's a bear. No, he's a bear. He's a bear. Barnacle bear. Yep. And he's acting like a pirate. Barnacle boy. Oh, and so you do it for the, bird. for the banana birds. Yeah, you can see his uh, pre-rendered shell collection in the back and how the shell that he just got is just kind of awkwardly placed there. Eh, funny. But you know what else is funny? Not us. Go somewhere else or actually come to the next episode and the next episode, Deep Thought. We'll see you then.